step up and grip it, grip it. Yes, sir. Oh. I just didn't skip a beat when he made you. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. If you guys are asking yourself, damn, that is a good looking crew here with amazing t-shirts on, golf polos on. We are with the Bad Birdie crew. You guys might have recognized this guy. Just me. And this up, handsome everybody? devil back this here. Crux? Everyone, this is unknown. Colin looking great. And what do you call this one? Uh, hit the, the links. jungle. Hit, hit the, the links. links. You're in paint splatter. I'm in paint splatter. This is a personal favorite. Morgan picked it out this morning when she woke up. Um, basically, they're giving me nine strokes today, and I played with these guys about what is it, a year ago now. And how bad out of ten would you say I was? You can be honest. Ten bad. Ten bad. Seven. Oh, okay. I, I was expecting. Down to like a two. Oh, not that bad. Okay. Yeah, well, he's hey. He's beating us right now, so that the, says something. The good, <laughs> the good news is, is I couldn't get any worse. So um, basically, we're going to see how how we compare today compared to last time. Woo! Is that for her? Uh, for her. Woo! Got my partner up here. 208 in the house. Can I borrow your driver there? Yeah, yeah. Swing thoughts. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, <laughs> just trying to clear my head and just close, close that hand, close that club face. All good things happen. Don't think too much. Just step up and grip it, grip it. Yes, sir. Light the candle, young man. Let's go. Let's go. Would you say it's the four-way stretch? I, I would say it's that and um, and, and probably your driver here. Yeah. I'm not giving that back. Yeah. I just want to say um, I'm hanging with the boys on this drive. Like you get the, the 300 club, I think. Oh I, no, I know that. I'm just, I said I'm, just, I'm hanging at least. Oh, yeah. I'm within 10. If I'm within 10, I'm happy. Thank you for pointing that out, though. You got me by about. It, <laughs> and I got it back again every over. freaking time with this club. Oh, yeah, I got the rake. Hey, kind of bunker. You know what? That rake right there, gonna be a new sponsored athlete, is what that rake's gonna do, because that just kept me out of the bunker, hopefully. Shout out to the rake. I'm gonna name my first kid after you, Rake. Yo, what's up, Rake Cook? We're uh, we're at least not in the sand. Who's who's that lovely shot on the green? Woo! Oh. Useful. Very appreciate that. Great handshake too. It's firm. Very firm. You do a lot of. All right, through yeah. through nine. You went one under. Jeez. Um, through nine, my partner and I are tied up. We're we're tied, right? Yeah. Yeah, tied with them. Really, really big couple last holes there. Yeah, yeah. Last I kind of fell better. apart and. Uh, and yeah, he kind of carried me there. So we're going into the back. We can get some. We're feeling good. Some lunch. We're feeling good. We're looking good because bad we are rock. rocking that bad bird. Bratwurst or hot dogs at the turn? If you say anything but a bratwurst, we're gonna have beef. <laughs> Why the hot dog? I just get it. Um, and also cigar. Well, the one time I, I had a cigar on the course, really enjoyed it. Um, it was more so. It wasn't lit. It was just more so to keep busy. Um, so yeah. Maybe maybe try that next time. Or this time. Yeah. Yeah. Felt felt kind of cool. All right, we are on. Uh, what are we on the fifteenth hole? We are down a stroke. Really uh, messed up the last par five. Had been doing decent until then. Um, but fifteenth hole, it's tradition with us. Anytime we're out here, <laughs> it's tradition. With us. <laughs> Second time we've ever played. Oh, <laughs> uh, these are fun, man. A pink Whitney. We're gonna open it like this. I don't. Know. Oh, oh, dude. That's for everybody? oh, nope, not opening it like that. I was gonna be cool. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Great dentures on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Kika. Oh. Don just didn't skip a beat when he made you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Go for it. I did not cheers that. Mm -mm. 
That's not bad, man. It's not that good though either. Honestly, this is the first shot I've had since uh since actually getting engaged. I did shots beforehand to try to calm the nerves. So you're saying we're like one of your top two celebration moments in life? <laughs> 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 getting engaged, golfing with Bad Bird. Yeah, yeah sounds like sounds, that's sounds that's about right. Right that's there on the I will say though, like these are some glorious shirts. Thanks, man. Yeah. This it's isn't really even cool. like you guys are probably like, oh, this is a paid. Nope, not a paid advertisement. This is just some buddies hanging out, oh, shooting the breeze. I actually texted Billy. I was like, please, when I come to Phoenix, let me golf with you. Please, <laughs> please, Billy. Oh, Billy. It's the first of many rounds, man. Last hole, down two strokes, par 18. We're playing from the blacks, 456. Playing with some long, long hitters. That's why we're playing uh, from the blacks today. How's the round been? Let's talk through it. Yeah, I mean, been great. I've been playing really bad. Uh, driver, really bad. Driver's good. Yeah, yeah, opening nine wasn't me. Opening, opening like four or five, but you you pulled it together there. Yeah, pulled it together. Birdied a couple holes that ago. That was big. That was big. Thought I drove the green on the last one. Didn't. Uh, We're golfing with some serious, serious yeah, people. Yeah. Minus one through the front nine. Back nine hasn't been as hot. Still but, good. Yeah. And it's four-way stretch, anti-odor, anti-microbial, <laughs> and it's UPF 50 plus. So Is like, it really? Smell me. Nothing. 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 Anti odor. It's crazy. It's weird. BadBirdieGolf.com. This, this shirt smells great. That's Paint Splatter 2, one of our best sellers in the back. It's room great. When, uh, Jackson Pollock was whipping up his famous masterpiece, Classic 17. You want to know a fun story about me and Steve? Is I used to buy supplements from him from a place called Max Muscle. Max Muscle off of uh, Eagle Road. Eagle Road Meridian. Yep. Yeah. Shout out. Is this still there? Do you know? Uh, Max Muscle. I is, doubt it. It's called Jack's Nutrition. Oh, now. there you go. Yeah. Jack's Nutrition. Shout out. Yeah. I don't know why we just shouted you out, but you yeah. used to be Max Muscle. Yeah. So, um, what do we got? 456. So, Max Muscle. We need to put some of that to the test yeah. here. Yeah, I think so. Did you take a creatine this morning? I did. Oh, that's... oh look at this one. <laughs> that's straight. First one. Look at that. So the, but the golf putt of all, every time someone wins a pro event, we make oh. two golf related copies of the putt. Oh, wow. Wow. Everybody's different. Is, uh, <laughs> I was spying. Oh, my goodness. Right? Uh, this represents a lot of a lot of wins. Absolutely. A lot of a lot of this was, this just... was gifted back to Carsten from the lady who, she kind of said, I think I might be the, the first win you ever had. It wasn't like a LPGA right. event, but oh, a, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Really, really cool. Um, but no, that's not like a humble nice brag. Things. Like, here's my. I think I might have been the first for you guys to go. Driving's for show, but putting's for go. And we'll talk about Which is actually how. not a true statistic. It's not? No. But like, there's a guy named Mark Gordon who's a PhD at Columbia. He's yeah. a good buddy of mine. Yeah. He's got a, a PhD in applied mathematics. He's done a bunch of like statistical analysis that's showing how important driving actually is. Really? Yeah. Putting's that makes me feel so much better because I can now justify hitting my driver more on the range. That's not what I just said. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, we are here. We, got, we have the team, the ping team. We have Chris and... We're gonna go over the, the area of my game that is, I, I can't tell you what, we'll let Chris tell you which area of my game is the weakest. It might just be all of it, but I know putting is one of those things from day to day, the consistency is just, obviously you have different greens, you have different conditions, but the, the thing that I struggle with um, is just being consistent with that putter. So we're gonna get dialed in here. Um, we got some, some cool tech stuff that I know nothing about, so I'll let the ping, tell you, ping people tell you guys about that. Um, and yeah. We, yeah, I mean, putting wise, how much, how much, if you're a newbie, I always hear like, you know, spend, spend more time putting, spend more, it's, it's hard because it's not as fun. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the whole thing, right? If you're a newbie, at the end of the day, the, the game's more about how do you enjoy it. So yeah. If you don't really enjoy putting, right. it's like, well, that's your prerogative, but it obviously matters big time if you're trying to shoot lower scores. I love it. All right, let's get putting. <laughs> Over 
some numbers and we'll look at the video that I just took of you. Any major things jumping out at you in the putter stroke? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I saw for you. <laughs> but that, that's the beauty of like oh, sorry. great equipment yeah, yeah. and being fitted properly yeah. is that like right away you can get better. But then if you're also working with a coach, right. you can make your technique better and then get fitted on top of that right. and then you get really kind of amplifying effects. Yep. That makes sense. You have like perfect on paper, but then everyone has to be kind of fitting that within their own kind of like dieting. Like you can you can have the perfect diet on paper, but if you can't stick to because you don't like those foods, it's not going to work. Like <laughs> the same thing if you're putting, you can be perfect on paper, but if it's not working for you because it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I mean it absolutely has that that pragmatic kind of aspect to it of like what is going to work for you, yeah, given right. all the complexity of you. Staying within parameters. But even the idea that there's some sort of perfect that's kind of like this weird ideal that yeah. that's not even necessarily true. So, okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's it's. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of different golf theory things. with Chris. <laughs> um, but so you're a 15 handicap. Got that. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is actually a really cool little thing. Goal number one, let's get you from a 15 to lower than a 10. Yeah. And let's get me lower than 10% body fat. Let's do it. So you might need to go into the scientific, like get hydrostatic tested. Let's do it. Or, or, or go over and get DEXA scan. I, I love it. And talk about like body composition and where you want to be at. And then even like some performance. Okay, like what do you what do you want to improve on? You're trying to, we're trying to get bigger, stronger. What are we trying to do? Because I, I think having that pinpoint goal, just like in golf, it's like if I want to hit... If my consistency is awful and that's what I need to improve on, that's what I need to come out and practice. Yeah. It's like, hey, I want to be more explosive or if I want to get stronger or if it's just I want to gain muscle. Yeah. Figuring that out is key. Yeah. Wow. Never actually had a... How's that one? Yeah, you're a cadet large, for sure. Good to know. It's kind of like when you, you uh, think you're a size 11 point? but you're really just a fat wide foot and so you have to get 11 to make that work <laughs> and, then you, and you're really a 10. Well, that last one, one was not. 120. You're averaging about 120, which is fast. So, so there's a lot of daylight between the light on and say your body. Yeah. You can see all that grass there. Yeah. And then the impact's a little scoopy yeah. down that way. Yeah. That's kind of be, going to be the big thing that we're It's been such a, such a scooper for so long. Yeah. Mm. That, I mean, that's, that's not necessarily the easiest change to make. Yeah. It's something yeah. you really kind of work on. That's why I want to say, okay, let's, let's get you this situated pretty good, and then we can start that process. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Dead straight. First one. Look at that. James knows what he's doing. I'll be happy if I can do that on yeah. the first one. It's like three was going to go back road if I hit it. Okay, I'm going to make a change. You guys can change the weight. Toe, heel, center. Yep. yep. So fade, draw. Depends on what the person's doing. Gotcha. I can adjust without you changing your swing. Gotcha. It just helps close the face down or slow it up a little bit, depending on where I put that weight. Cool. Should we do a little, let me mess on the swing wise a little bit? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's do this. Okay. I'm just, yeah. It's gonna feel like this face is just more of this Gotcha. Way. Okay? Yep. More that way. And then on the way down, the same idea. You're gonna feel, see how like you have that stress in your, yeah. your wrist? Yeah. You want it to be feeling that way. And then once the face gets there, that's going to give you that opportunity to really kind of start to... Gotcha. It's going to be a very sort of slingy feel. You're not just gotcha. trying to jam it yeah. forever. Yeah. It's more of a... Gotcha. There we go. And just especially with the driver, everything just in general feel like this is a little softer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this whole thing's a little bit lower. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna do this together. That's beautiful. That sucks much better. That was actually, for what we're trying to do, that was the best one. Really? Then you would add the, a little bit of that right arm in. Okay. That was cool. Yeah. 
That one felt good. Like, if I were to just take a snapshot of one of your best shots, yeah. it's like, oh, it might be a tour player, okay. right? You heard it from But me. no, because, I mean, you got a club at speed of like 118-ish yeah. miles an hour, right? So your good shots can be great. The problem is, is if you play a couple holes, what happens? So this is actually an analogy I'll give to people. So it's like, if I was an alien from Planet No Golf, I knew nothing about golf. Planet <laughs> No Golf, right? Guy. And all I, all I do, I saw you hit a drive off the first tee, your 15 handicap. Yeah. You got high club at speed. You could hit a drive right down the middle, 310 yards. Yeah. And then Rory McIlroy steps up and hits a drive, 310 yards right down the middle. I don't know the difference between you two. Right. Okay. So now let's play. Let's say you play another hole. You hit a drive right down the middle, 310 yards. Rory McIlroy hits the left rough, which he does sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh, you're better, right? But then over the course of a couple holes, I might be like, I don't know anymore. Over the course of a round, it'll be clear that Roy McIlroy is better than you. Over the course of a tournament, what's the difference between the guy who's first in the PGA Tour and a hundredth in the PGA Tour? You need like a whole tournament, you need a whole season. The idea is, is you need that large sample to see the difference right. in skill sets. And that's not to say that the metal part doesn't matter. Right. It just, they all have sort of their roles. It does for my happiness out there. We'll say That's that. It, more it, important. It, it matters for when I'm out there and I'm wanting to break my clubs. Don't do it. You'll regret it. I've been there. <laughs> Ooh. That was solid. That was really solid. What the? I was thinking about my shoulder. Yeah, that was great. And again, maybe this is misinformation that I picked up from the Shambo in one of his videos when he was getting speed. See, so he's, he's obviously keeping his hands high, and he's just feeling like he is pulling down on it. Yeah. Is that is that a swing speed thing that I shouldn't worry about right now? I mean, I mean, here's the thing. Like Bryson, he has all these things already in place. Yeah. That that I mean, he's obviously boxes check. So now he's able to just get a little bit right more in this swing speed. Right. So like. You know, like if someone was preparing for a show and they were trying to get from a 6% body fat to like 4%, yeah. their overall approach is going to look much different than me trying to get from Good whatever, point. whatever. Good point. And if I were to start doing their stuff, you'd be like, ah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the analogy. Beautiful. Right Ooh, there. there we go. That swing was so good. Too. That was really good, Steve. That was good. The, the overall shape of it was. I want you to try and do the exact Emulate same that. thing. Huh? Emulate that. Emulate that. Just do that. That was your. Times. Times. That was really good. 14 launch, 29 spin. One thing is uh, 295, 310. 310, maybe. Okay. So that's where it gets it gets tough, right? Because it's like you did the <laughs> better move one. at the top, and then you hit the one that's off the heel, and it doesn't yes. go anywhere, and it's easy to abandon it, right? And kind of go to what's familiar. But it's, it's such a hard like the thing that you said, the path coming in, going out to right field, basically. Yeah. But not the difference is getting this turned over, but still allowing it the path to go to right field, but getting this turned over rather than holding on to it, kind of like it was. Exactly. That's where I feel like I'm that follow through needs to really improve. I totally agree with that. Okay. And this is where it's just like, like especially the backswing stuff, you just kind of got to like sort of commit to it and, yeah. and say, okay, I might hit a couple of weird shots, yeah. but then that gives us the opportunity to make those like little adjustments to match match it up to where you can hit that last ball. That last ball was beautiful. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah it was. that was your best ball actually. Was it? <laughs> yeah, about 295, 311. Okay. Yeah. Well, was, we'll take that one. You guys have seen a couple of my golf journey vlogs and videos. This one, I really feel like, um, light bulbs, kind of little things going off in terms of swing path and everything like that. I'm excited to take that training tool. But Ping, thank you so much for having you. Chris, thank you so much. I, guys, this is, you guys have kind of seen my obsession. I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. So when I get into something, I go all the way. I've been in golf now about a year and four months. And I'm just like, I, I, I told myself I just wanted to shoot in the 70s. The more you, the better you get at something, the more you want. And that's just anything in life. You're 16% body fat. You want 10. Once you hit 10, you're like, you know what? I want to see if I can push it to six. That's an inherent thing we all have as human beings. We want more of, of something that's good. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but realize golf or fitness, you got to be happy in the journey because there's always going to be that next, okay, I want more, I want more. 
the key is to enjoy the journey because it's not a destination, it's that journey that you have to be happy and enjoy. So thank yeah. you. These goals are all about activating a particular energy you get to move through the day with, right? So I like that. Yeah. We're gonna have to put that on the wall there. Cool. So thank all right, you so thanks, much. Buddy. That was fun. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. I wish the only thing I wish is my dad would my dad was the athletic director, so it was football, basketball. I'm like, Dad, I didn't do a single lifetime sport. There was no skiing. There was no tennis. There was no <laughs> golf. Just get me into one. I, I would probably be a seven handicap right now, trying to get to a one. Did you at least learn chess? What's that? Yes. Yeah. No, Dad, thank you very much for making me do push-ups during commercial breaks of TV no, shows. No, I said chess, not chess. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I did chess. chess no, not, not chess either. Chess. That, that shows you. I didn't play chess. It was chess.